Hi everybody, my name is Barry Schwartz and this is the Search Buzz Video Recap. Today is Friday, June, July 7th and this is the Search news we covered over at the Search Roundtable at sdroundtable.com over the past week. First up, um, so we've been analyzing this June 25th update. Uh, we've been talking about it for the past week or so and honestly I analyzed tons and tons of data. I had about 70 or so different sites that said they significantly got hit by this update but I actually saw no pattern across any of the metrics that I were looking at specifically around this update. I looked at tons of things from mobile friendly to on-page SEO to off-page SEO to um, keyword, tons of stuff, you name it, um, ad heavy stuff, whatever it might be, and I didn't see any specific um, thing around this specific update. Um, so I apologize. Obviously I could say, you know, this websites weren't so great quality. Some of them were actually very good quality and they said they got hit. Um, so I, again, I'm, I'm sorry I don't have an answer for you, but Again, I don't have any patterns to share with you. Um, for those who have been away on vacation for the past month, definitely recommend you check out the July Google Webmaster Report. It's a report I write every month summarizing the most important SEO webmaster related topics related to Google specifically. So definitely take a look at that. In highlights, obviously, I want to just talk about the top things that we discussed over the past month. One was that Google um, said they are going to confirm major updates, although they did not confirm that July 25th update, June 25th update, um, which they actually called random chatter. Um, they kind of went ahead and um, said the Fred update did happen. They confirmed it, but yet they didn't confirm it. Um, they said the mobile first index won't launch until sometime in 2018, but they'll do that slowly in batches. Uh, Google Post launched launched to almost all Google My Business users, and Google came out with the job posting schema, which people have been expecting. Uh, moving on, Google confirmed this morning in a Google Hangout that um, that hidden content in tabs with the mobile first index is okay. Google said this back in November of last year when they were just talking about the mobile first index, basically saying since mobile devices need to have a better user experience in terms of folding content in hidden areas so people can expand that content because there's a, so there's the real estate is not as much as a desktop, that even though on the desktop version, uh, on the desktop first index that Google does go ahead and downgrade or discount the content in hidden hidden in tabs or expandable areas with the mobile first index Google is not going to do that it's going to give full weight to content in tabs. Google's John Mueller also said this morning that going ahead and publishing 100,000 pages or more uh, all at once is perfectly fine for SEO. In fact, this is something that I've heard SEOs talk about a lot and most SEOs from what I've heard will go ahead and release this content, if they had 100,000 pages, release it in um, slowly, in batches, like stagger that content into the Google index or into the, onto their web page. Web page. And John Mueller said, no, you shouldn't do that. Artificially trickling in your pages, he said, will probably do more harm than good. I definitely recommend you take a look at this post. It's very, very interesting from a, from a technical SEO perspective. Um, and it's great to hear that Google can handle that. Of course, your server needs to be able to handle the crawl. But outside of that, Google says, go ahead and do it if your server can handle the crawl. John Mueller also said that embedding YouTube videos on your website doesn't give you a ranking boost or make your site automatically high quality. That's a no duh type of an question and answer. And also Google said that exact match domains don't get a magical ranking boost. By having a keyword rich exact match domain, it's not going to go ahead and go ahead and give you that magical EMD bonus. In fact, Google has an EMD exact match domain penalty. So again, um, you got to be careful with that. This is interesting. Google AdSense net launched new versions of native ads, uh, specifically in feed articles, um, in feed in articles, and match content. So look at this. You can barely see. You can barely see. Like this is the article. This is the ad. They look exactly the same. Article ad. It's blended in where it actually matches the content. That's specifically what Google tells you not to do. Google doesn't want your ads. Well, at least on the organic side, the search webmaster guidelines don't want your ads to confuse the users and trick users into clicking ads. They want the ads somewhat to be separate and not confusing to your main content. And Google here in AdSense is telling you the exact opposite. This is nothing new. Google has policies on the ad side that don't really jive with the policies on the organic side. And we've been telling Google this for years. And I'm sure the organic team is like, what the heck are you guys doing on the ad team? But yet they don't really communicate. Um, and that's good and bad, as you can tell. Google Posts obviously launched a couple weeks ago to everybody in Google My Business users, or most people in Google My Business users, and we learned this week that Google Posts expire in seven days after posting it, unless it's an event, then it will expire on the date of the event. Um, so here's an example of an email. 
that Google sent to some publishers, uh, to some businesses saying your post is about to expire and Google confirmed with us that it does expire after seven days unless it's an event and then it will expire on the date of the event. Google said, or the, there is no actual way to actually go ahead and automate or schedule Google Posts yet. It would be nice like you could with other platforms, but with Google Posts you cannot go ahead and schedule those things. Almost done. Google said safe search is applied to, this is adult, Google's adult content filter, is applied on a page by page basis, a URL by URL basis. So if you buy a domain name that was adult oriented and you go ahead and make it kid friendly, uh, it will take a while for Google to go ahead and index the whole entire new site and uh, remove that safe search filter on a page by page basis. Um, there's a new um, Google Search Console error specifically around AMP and videos. Um, a lot of people have been getting it. It basically says missing embed video on page. I looked at my specific errors. It was for legacy old content that doesn't have really good videos. The videos are missing. Uh, but in general, YouTube videos should be fine. There's ways to embed it and definitely take a look at those errors if you get it. And finally, Google AdWords ha is testing or adding a new way for you to uh, create dynamic search ads in ad groups. So you just check off that button that says enable dynamic search ads for this campaign. And then you can select an ad group. Uh, which would dynamically insert those dynamic search ads into your ad groups, which is pretty cool. Any event, thanks so much for listening to the Search Buzz video recap. It's a very fast one. It was July 4th week, uh, holiday, obviously, this week. I hope everybody has a great weekend, and I'll see you guys next. Again, today is, today is July 7th, and this is the search news we covered over at the Search and Roundtable over the past week. My name, again, is Barry Schwartz, and everyone, have a great weekend, and thanks to those who watch live. Bye.